Hey guys, we're at the 2011 GNC NBC LA Championships. I'm here with Kyle Witherspoon, who just won the light heavyweight class. Um, I've been watching this guy on Facebook, talking about the USA's. He's been, uh, for the whole year, I've been watching this guy prep. He's had how many cheap meals? Uh, less than 10 all year long. Haven't missed one meal, not one training session, seven meals a day. 365 days a year. <laughs> so we're here right now, we're one week out from the USA's. Your redemption, I believe you're about 10 pounds heavier this year? I uh, came in about 7.8 pounds bigger than last year's USA. So it's been a pretty productive off season. Uh, it goes to show, you know, hard work, consistency pays off. Now, um, there's something interesting happened about two weeks ago, I'll give or take. I had come home from the gym myself, popped on Facebook, me and him are actually friends. I saw he went to the ER, kind of, you know, caught me off guard. And uh, I'm going to let you tell your story. It's very interesting to hear about. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, we were just doing standard tricep push downs. And uh, I always wear a belt, uh, really snug to try to keep my waist small because I'm kind of known for a small waist. And then I started feeling a little pain. So I undid my belt. The pain didn't go away. I finished my workout. I went and trained one of my clients. Uh, I was pretty much keeled over. I called my wife. I said, hey, uh, there's something really wrong with me. So I got home, I laid down, and uh, I don't really ever go to the doctor. I don't like doctors, I don't like meds. So I took my pants down and, uh, and my intestines were actually hanging out by my groin. I didn't know what it was, so you know, I called a couple people and they're like, oh, you gotta go to the ER. I just laid there, I said, no, I'll be good, and then I couldn't move, and luckily my wife's like, all right, you need a man up, we need to get to the ER. So rolled up into the ER, um, laying on the ground, I couldn't get up. So they're calling me, we went to the back, and uh, the doctor wanted to give me meds, IVs. I said, look, I'm two weeks out from the biggest show of my life. I don't want any meds, I don't need anything. So they're like, okay, we're gonna have to give you surgery next week. I said, just do whatever it takes to push that shit back up inside me. And he's like, okay. He's like, you sure? I said, yeah. So it was funny, my wife was almost passed out because he was pushing so hard to get all that stuff back inside. So when he got inside, I felt better. And he told me, you know, you're done bodybuilding, you can't compete. I pretty told, I said, you know, that's BS. Trained all year for this, for, you know, one day. It's not going to put me back. So he showed me how to put the intestines back inside of me if it does come out in the gym. So I'm wearing a custom brace that uh, holds it all in in place. I mean, I can't lift as heavy. I got out of the ER at 2 a.m. and I was on the stair climber at 4 a.m. the same morning. So. You gotta do whatever it takes, man. This is our lives, you know. It's hard work and dedication. You don't leave it behind all your dreams in just one go. So I'm just working through the pain. I wear the brace every single day. Today was the first day I was able to pose on stage. Thank goodness it was enough for the light heavyweight championship, which I needed to qualify anyways. So we'll be right back in the gym on uh, tomorrow, training legs and getting ready for the USA. Now talk about dedication, huh? that's crazy. Um, I commend you for that so much. I know you want to thank some people right now. One week out, this is the time we all forget about it, what kind of brain did. So I'm going to let you run the mic and uh, thank some people with one week to go. Good luck. I know you'll be against my boy Pete, some yeah, other yeah, friends, but you know what? Pete, May the best man win. That's all I got to say. So. That's awesome. Say what you got to say, bro. All right. First off, I just want to thank my wife, of course, my family. Um, without them, this wouldn't even be possible. Next on the list is going to be, of course, you know, George Fair. He's been with me, uh, working with him for two years now. Um, most people hate it, but, you know, I, we stayed clean on my diet all year long. Uh, less than 10 cheat meals, like I said. It realistically, we didn't start cardio until eight weeks out, and I never went over 20 minutes. You know, everyone gives George crap about high carbs, high carbs, less cardio, but you know what? It works sometimes. You know, people talk about high carbs. Realistically, my carbs are like 120, 150. That's not that high. You know, my high carbs in the off season were 800. So I want to give my thank you to him for, you know, once again bringing me in the best shape of my life. You know, you'll see me at the USA again, sharper, tighter, probably still eight pounds bigger than I was last year. Uh, another guy that I brought into my camp this year was uh, John Meadows. He's pretty much changed my physique dramatically. Uh, different training philosophy, different rep ranges. It's out of control. I mean, last year, you know, I got dinged for my back, being the, one of the worst body parts. And of course, my quads being the best. But now, you know, when I turn to the back against Tamer and Pete, your boy Pete, 
you're going to be able to see I'll be able to hang. I can't wait to stand next to those guys and all the other great competitors up there. You know, everyone's worked just as hard as me. Everyone deserves a chance uh, to be seen. You know, we all put you know, our lives, our families, uh, every single minute into this, at least I do. I'm probably the one of the most dedicated persons you'll ever meet. I never missed a meal. Uh, I feel bad for my wife and kid. Our whole life revolves around my damn food. We don't do vacations. We don't go to the mall. Or I'll eat, and then we'll leave, and I'll have two hours to get back to do it. You know, That's our life, you know? Uh, it just is what it is. And then, of course, uh, my newest sponsor, uh, Symbius Medical. Uh, they deal with all medical equipment. Uh, they came on board with me this year. A lot of bodybuilders don't realize that most of us, uh, being the size that we are, we have uh, sleep apnea. So they were able to hook me up on a CPAP machine, uh, do a sleep study with me, and I uh, found out that, yeah, I actually did have sleep apnea. You know, you're waking up in the middle of the night, and most of the time you don't even know it, or you're one of those guys like me that used to pee like eight to 10 times a night. And that's really just sleep apnea at that point. So I want to thank them. You know, I am on a CPAP. You know, my wife makes fun of me. I got this mask on me, I look like a retard. But you know what, I'm sleeping great. I wake up once a night. Uh, these guys are badass, you know, Symbius Medical. And I want to thank them just for the sponsorship and actually getting me better sleep, which has got me better recovery, better growth, better everything. I'm just excited to go to the USA next week. I appreciate the interview very much. Well, Kai, you know what? You sound pumped up. Six days. I wish you the best. Derek Fowler, MuscleConnors.com.